Hello everyone and welcome back to Destiny. Just about an hour ago I put up a video going over a massive breakdown of the European Dead Zone. We got a really good sense of what patrol is going to be like. We saw a lot of different kinds of loot. We saw NPC vendors. Now of course that does have some spoilery type of stuff because again you're not going to unlock it until the final act of the game and you're going to see characters in there that you might want to meet for the first time by yourself. Although this video was put up by Bungie so I think it's safe to watch. Either way there was a lot of other footage also hitting the internet and there was a lot of other things that we perhaps should not be seeing right now and I do want to put up a massive spoiler warning for this video because I think you're going to want to maybe discover this for yourself. It's not any kind of like campaign spoilery type stuff, just more about endgame progression, and I guess that is still technically spoiling a bit of the story. I couldn't contain the excitement, so that's why you're getting a second video so close to the first one that you got today. So again, I'm going to be going over some pretty massive spoilery type things that you're probably not going to be experiencing until the very end of the game. So I want to give you enough time to click away. You've watched this video for about a minute already, even though my title says spoilers and nothing else. And if you're still a bit curious, this is going to be regarding subclasses. So if you don't want to learn more about how subclasses are going to work in Destiny 2 and some really exciting surprises, then click away. If you're still with me, let's jump right into it. The third subclasses are going to be there at launch. We have Night Stalker and Stormcaller that we have evidence of in this footage. I want to put all of your doubt out of your mind, so we'll start with this Arc Warlock. Yes, you can see this is an Arc-based subclass. It is an Warlock. You can clearly see the Healing Rift or Empowering Rift. And of course, a Arc-themed subclass icon in the bottom left-hand corner. We don't know if it's going to be called Stormcaller, but this is definitely a third subclass. Now, this started first with some really interesting items that the characters got while they were playing in the European Dead Zone. First, we see a very interesting item called a Cracked Talisman, which also prompts a notification at the bottom, calling this a subclass artifact. The notification reads, this artifact is one of the keys to regaining your lost power. It has been added to your subclass inventory. So it looks like you're going to be finding items like this in the end game, perhaps once you defeat Gaul. Maybe not. Maybe it is earlier in the game. We don't know yet. And then you're going to have to go through another process to regain your third subclass. Now, a very strong piece of evidence that's pointing towards the Taken King subclasses specifically coming back, as in the Night Stalker, Stormcaller, and Sunbreaker specifically, we can see here that in another shot, a hunter finds something called a Fractured Arrow, which has a Void Arrow in it. That's pretty spot on in my opinion. Now, this item does prompt a slightly different notification at the bottom. It says you have found an object filled with lost power. Press options to inspect it. Now, this could just be a second step in the same kind of process. We still don't know exactly how you get it, but this is pretty exciting nonetheless. This is something that we've been waiting for. It's something that I just had a gut feeling would be at launch, and it does seem like we're going to be able to get our third subclasses back. I am definitely starting with a Hunter. If I had any doubts in my mind, it is gone now. We're playing with Hunter at launch, so you can expect that. I will be live streaming it, of course, over on my Twitch channel. So definitely head on over around launch and watch that happen. Watch me get this third subclass. It's going to be amazing. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. I just wanted to show you this stuff and kind of confirm the third subclass for those of you who, of course, wanted to see it. Not a huge spoiler, but again, I think a lot of people wanted to experience this on their own, so I'm just kind of playing it safe. I will also leave a link down below to the original Reddit thread. It looks like they're updating it as they discover more information about the third subclasses, so definitely head on over and check that out. Anyways, let me know in the comments below if having access to that third subclass is going to change what class you're playing at launch. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more Destiny content. And I will see you all next time.